string here with our key connecting these fractions to these coins and we're going to use this connection to figure out the different sums that we present here and we're going to really introduce I think in this video uh, dimes and nickels as a focus here so let's look at the first problem it's one half plus one fifth okay well a half is really fifty cents so that's point five plus one fifth is that a nickel no be careful there one fifth just because we see a five down here does not make it a nickel let's try to figure out what this is where does one fifth fit well if I have ten cents I have one tenth if I have two ten cents I have twenty cents right so if I have two dimes it's twenty cents how many tenths is that well that's two tenths each tenth is ten cents so two of them makes twenty cents can I make this as a smaller fraction well yes this is one-fifth why well how many twenty cents groups of twenty cents go into a dollar right five of them because twenty cents plus twenty cents plus twenty cents plus twenty cents plus twenty cents makes one dollar so that means each twenty group of twenty cents is one-fifth of a dollar right because there are five of these that go into a dollar and that's one-fifth or you can reduce it thinking how many twos go into ten well that's five so if we divide two by by two and ten by two we get one out of five it's two ways to think about it but anyway one half and one fifth that's fifty cents plus twenty cents which is equal to seventy cents or point seven or seven out of ten knowing that we move on to the next one what if I have two fifths plus one half well again this is a string so look at the connection here instead of one fifth we now have two fifths we still have a half in there we just change the order so this new sum should be bigger than this first one by one fifth right because there's one more fifth now in the in the total sum so two fifths well every one fifth was was twenty cents so two fifths should be double that or forty cents plus a half which is fifty cents which is point nine or nine tenths and that makes sense nine tenths is twenty cents more ninety cents excuse me is twenty cents more than seventy cents which is one fifth more All right, that this is seventy cents and this is 90 cents. All right, we'll keep going with the string, the string and looking for connections here. Um, next we have one half plus one tenth. And I like this model here because this is not a hard problem, but it's so easy to see the answer. If you think of a half as 0.5 and one tenth as a, as a dime or point, oops, or point one, you get the answer, which is 0.6 or six out of 10 or 60 cents. And look at all those different ways we automatically connected this number just by using the coins. Oh, so there we introduced the dime. Okay, well, what about two fifths plus three tenths? And here, um, what I'm going to do actually, I'm not going to use the previous strings, I'm just going to rely on the fact that I know that two fifths is equal to 40 cents. We established that before, so I guess I'm using that one part. Right, because every one fifth is twenty cents, so two fifths having two of them makes double that, or forty cents, or point four. Three tenths is like three dimes, or point three, and that equals point seven, or seven out of ten, or seventy out of a hundred, and that's seventy cents. That's interesting. We have a connection right here. These two are the same thing, and I, I guess we'll leave it to you to think about why that makes sense. All right, moving on, we have two and one half plus one and two fifths. So here, um, the connection I see, if I go back, we have this equation here. We have the one half, now it's written first, and we have the two fifths, which is written second. So we change the order of the fractions, but those fractional parts are still there. But we also have now one whole dollar and two whole dollars. So this new sum is going to be three dollars more than ninety cents. So three dollars and ninety cents. 
it's going back to that first one. And if we think about this in terms of a decimal, we get 2 and 1 half is 2.5, plus 1 and 2 fifths, which is 1.4, which equals 3.9, which equals $3.09. Uh, I'll put that down here. Or 91 hundredths, which is $3.90. So you see that when we introduce this string and think about these one, two, three, four, five problems, we need to be careful and not associate one fifth with a nickel. That's one of the, the dangerous aspects of this model. Um, so again, use the money model to think about what, why these fractions make sense. We don't want you to lose that intuition when you're solving for fraction sums. All right, hope that helped.